the number one sales hack to improve your sales on Amazon is actually very basic. It's the main photo. My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And in this video, I'm gonna walk through proving just that and why you need to spend significant amounts of time, hours and hours of time, trying to get the main photo to be as sexy as this, taking up as much space as possible, throwing that accessory, just, just right there, Photoshopping that straight on the Tumblr, those kinds of things are going to make a massive impact to your sales. And I'm going to I'm gonna prove it to you. This is the number one sales hack on Amazon. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. First thing I'm going to show you is a PicFu test. Um, I'm a really big fan of PicFu. I'm PicFu certified. We're one of the biggest uh, groups or agencies that pushes traffic their way. If you guys want to test this out yourself, go to PicFu.com slash My Amazon Guy. Get 50% off your first test. And what's really cool is you can see, I got 50 people to answer this in under 21 minutes. That's pretty good. This is gonna be directionally helpful. Here is the test. We wanted to know what should the main image be? I knew A wasn't gonna win because we know showing accessories always wins. But I didn't know if B or C was gonna win. How does it look? Is it in the, the package here with all the markers showing up? Or do we wanna see some marker and color off to the side like this? And as you can see from the results here, 82 score showing the package of the markers versus the markers without the packaging. These are the sort of tests you need to run. And if you think about it, let's say your current image was A and you switch to B. That is a massive market share change. You're going to increase your CTR. That's your click-through rating, which means you're going to get more eyeballs if you get more eyeballs, you get more sales. If you get more sales, you get even more eyeballs because on Amazon, that funny thing is you need sales to get sales, right? And so the more sales you get, the more it snowballs, your BSR keeps going up. And by the way, if you don't know what BSR is, watch this video next. We have a full bestsellers ranking video that will be very helpful. Here is the story of what happened to me on my mom box. So I'm going to break to the chase and tell you what the outcome is first because that's just kind of my storytelling technique. I sold $144,000 on this single ASIN in less than 30 days of it launching. That was in 2020 going into Mother's Day. I, I just hit the perfect storm. I did everything correctly and I got a little lucky. I ended up ranking this product for the keyword gifts for mom into slot one 48 hours before Mother's Day. Couldn't have gone any better, right? Well, here's the thing. When I first launched the product, it went terribly. The first 72 hours, I was goose egging sales, trying to figure out what the frick went wrong, and I just couldn't figure it out. Now, you're seeing the final photo product right here. Super crisp, clean. You can tell what's in the packaging. You can tell that it's coming in a gift box of some kind, right? All good things. Well, when I first started out, this was not my main image. This was my main image. Messy on the top left. I wanted to showcase I had this giant box. I wanted to see the card. I had all of this stuff figured out. We'll move my image there for a second so you can see the card. But this was my main image. So I knew something was wrong and I knew it was the main image because sales were awful. And I was heading into Mother's Day. I had a lot of inventory I had to get moving and figure out. So what I did is I ran a PicFu test of my main image against another top competitor in the space. And guess what happened? My photo lost, 60-40. Actually didn't lose as bad as I thought I was going to lose. And if you look down in the comment section, you can see that a lot of people just really like the pink. And, and if we do control F for the word pink, it shows up 13 times. It was very polarizing. Part of my key to success was going to market with the pink color to begin with, right? Very, very hot pink very polarizing. Not everybody's going to like that, but for the people that do, they freaking really love it, right? And so that was a, a competitive advantage that I chose to do, but I was still at 4060 here. I needed to gain some space. So I ran another PicFu test. This time I changed the main image, but not enough. Here you can see results 5248, basically inconsequential. I switched it from having the messy box image in the corner and pulled it out to the full image, full stop there. Now you can't see the box. Now you can't see the card and the side in the, whoop, the corner there. I got hiccups. 
and it wasn't good enough. So I had to do better than that. And that's when I landed on this. Within 24 hours of me switching the main photo, I had 100 units in sales. I'm kidding you not. That's how big of a difference the main photo makes. It is the largest sales hack on Amazon, and it doesn't take that much effort to change. You can Photoshop it. You can do a rendering. You can do all kinds of things. Just reposition the products like I did. I, I, what I learned was is that my raw photography was inferior to simply Photoshopping the main images of each of these individual shots on top of the, the, the padded stuff here, right? For some context, this is my item right here. It's a nice big box, right? It's gonna, you know, like four and a half pounds or so. I wanted people to see that it came in this nice white box, packaged well and artisan-like, right? And then we've got this confetti-like powder, whatever you wanna call this paper stuff. I have no idea. And in here, mmm, I can smell the soaps already. I wanted people to feel that. You know, the box is custom made. We cut it out ourselves. You can see like I can I could shake the box, nothing moves too much, right? There's a hole for the bath bomb that comes up. See a nice little close-up shot of the bath bomb right there. And uh, we actually tried to find a cupcake version of that. Couldn't source it quick enough, so we went to market like that. I've got multiple soaps in here. I've got kind of a wildflower thing going on and um, a raspberry vanilla, right? I wanted to showcase all of this product. We even made our own lotion. Um, and funny story, the warehouse that was making this um, ended up shooting lotion all over the warehouse because the pistons were like malfunctioning. It was just crazy sauce, right? Just massive crazy town. But we found our own lotion bottle. We poured the lotion ourselves into the bottle and the container. Um, and we were actually shopping around, like debating, like what container should we go? Because um, this one mm, kind of looks like a piss cup, a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. But we decided that nobody would notice that or care or make any comments about that. And we were right. So we kept the piss cup version. So those are the sort of things that we did. We made this nice box. But as you can see, very difficult to photograph this and make it look good to showcase the fact that it came with all the things it came with. And not least, but not last, I'm saying that backwards. Here's the card, right? Like we even had the card. Uh, of course, I had that upside down. There you go. All you need is mom. And I wanted to showcase all of this stuff so that people could truly understand that like this is worth spending $50 on because your mother is an important person in your life. And we went to all the effort to source such a nice, lovely kit for them to feel good about, right? And we packaged it up in this nice box. But the main image just wasn't showing this. It was so important for us to get the main image right, and it led to the sales. But let me impact this to you further, right? Let's go to the search page of Amazon, type in a keyword, and see how you look to the consumer yourself, right? So I've typed in a keyword. We're scrolling down. Here's how my product looks compared to everybody else's. And there's a bunch of random stuff that comes up that's not germane. That sometimes happens in the search result. And you really want to compare and contrast how you look compared to everybody else, right? And I'm off market right now, so my BSR is only in the 76,000. Still respectable, still making money on it at 50 bucks, but not nearly as as tall of an order when I break through that top couple of thousand in the in the beauty category closer to Mother's Day as well as Christmas. So seasonal item, I get it. But if we type in random things like this, gift for mom box or some other things like that, we can see like how we stack up against the competitors. So here we're seeing there's one of the competitors with another gift box, very similar item. Here's other iterations of this, and you can see how they did it. Very colorful with the bump box. I like the name of it. These guys don't even have a BSR, though. They've got a suppression issue. That's a big problem. If you ever see a rank not found, it's a suppression. Big, 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 big problem. Get that fixed. Set the category ID. Make sure you ticket it until it's rectified. Could be a problem preventing the organic from being found. Right? But we've got bump boxes. We've got all kinds of different things that are showing up. Why is a consumer going to click on my product? versus somebody else's. And there's so many different ways these gift boxes are built with their main images. And like what color pop is gonna get them to click on my item versus somebody else's, right? Really hard to see everything that comes with that item. A uh, little easier to see this one. And as we scroll down, we're just seeing gift box after gift box with various different angles, shots, and procedures. But by and large, if you look at the guys that are in the top of the BSR, 
you're going to be able to decide like which one you should look closer to. Now, sometimes you could replicate the photo and still do poorly because of one reason or another, pricing, um, or maybe your content's not as good. Maybe you can't Photoshop as well. Various different things. Maybe you need to go at the market from a completely new angle. Maybe you're selling marshmallow sticks. You're going to add a foot in length just to get a different angle to it so it converts better. But if you try and hit the market and you hit it wrong, you're going to end up like these guys where you're discounting this down at $23. That's not where you want to be, right? Like this is a lot of good things that are coming in that gift basket with a tumbler and all these various things. For $23, that's a freaking good deal. Um, and, and they are in the top 3,000 of, of kitchen, but they're not making margin on that. There's no freaking way you can make margin selling all that for $23. So there's lots of different angles and ways you could think about this. But the thing I really like about the bump box main image here, they've got that nice text. It's super easy to read. It invites you to click on it. It's got the nice pink box, which is very different than the elegance of the other items in the white box like mine. This is more likely to draw a click in. Um, and then you just have to hope that you can convert them once you get them here, right? Look at the secondary images and all the different stuff that comes with the item. Um, they obviously did an actual photo shoot showcasing this. Um, the one thing I don't like about their secondary images, we never see the woman look at the camera and smile, right? Very attractive woman, but not looking at the camera. I think that's a mistake. So there are things you can do with this. Um, and I don't actually think that their main image cropping is all that great. And if we look at the size of the image, you know, they've got white space on the top and the bottom. I don't even think they did a 2000 by 2000 pixel load. So there are things that could be done better here, but by and large, it's doing quite well. And if we ran an AB test against this, I don't know how mine would do and stacked up in comparison, right? Bump box versus a gift for mom. Mine's a little bit more evergreen. Theirs is for new mommies for sure. Over on my website, I've got a really lengthy guide on how to do image listing images for you. Um, and you can see very lengthy amount of descriptors and what makes a good photo versus what is prohibited. Um, there are some high level best practices that when you're going to do this, I do recommend loading JPEGs into Amazon. The PNGs seem to be buggy right now. There are some generic uh, systematic things you need to do. For example, photos need to be 2000 by 2000 pixels. If you're not at least at 1500 on one side, you will get an image suppression. I do recommend JPEG, seven photos per item. The seventh photo will be replaced by a video. However, that's fine but you do want to load more than that just in case the video doesn't uh, render for any reason. Main photo generally needs to be on white crop where the item is 85% of the image. So this particular item would pass the test there more than 85% of the crop. The other one that we were looking at, this one, be very close. This one might be right on the borderline um, of passing that. Uh, back images, label images for secondary images, close-up shots to show a feature, infographics with text on them, lifestyle shots where you can get that banana for scale, use a human for scale in this case, aspirational humanization of the product in use, and that video, of course, even if it's shot on your mobile phone, that's okay because these are things that are going to go a long way to just adding conversion. So if you want to get a hold of this, we'll have a link to this in the description so you can check out our full image guide. We have all kinds of requirements and things that you need to do as well as examples of some great images and how they did their photo stack. Um, Jungle Scout did a really good demonstration of this. So we actually uh, copied a few of their things in and we, we gave them credit and sourced them and linked them over. But you can see like some of the things that Jungle Scout did for some of their studies um, and how their image guide worked and very various different things and how it led to improvements in sales. That's how important photo stacks are as well as their main images um, and all of that good stuff too. We also have guides on what an optimized listing can look like. So I've got my mega pint where you've got the main image that's A-B tested for click-through rate. Title is 150 characters long. Bullets, 500 characters. A-plus content is published, including that nice brand story that everybody seems to forget about. It's that new module on top of A-plus content. Here's a dry listing that doesn't have any of that on the right, and it's, it's a small image. They don't even have a 1,500-pixel image. Hard to understand what it is. It's kind of washed out in the white. Lots of problems can happen when you don't follow these guides. After you follow this guide, you're going to notice your CTR is going to go up. Each category has a different CTR or click-through rate in its category. 
And PPC CTR, very different than the organic CTR. When it comes to PPC, somewhere around the 0.35 percentage range is pretty good. On Google, 1% would be acceptable. Uh, but on Amazon, 0.35 is pretty average and basic. If you've got above a 0.4, you're doing exceptionally well. The main image has the most impact on CTR versus any other field or attribute within the entire Amazon spectrum. So it's extremely important. If you see your CTR go up, you're going to see your impressions go up because your rankings go up. You're going to get more traffic. You're going to get more sales. And it's really, really important. The next guide you should, should look at is our ICAP marketing guide. That's the one where I talk about impressions, clicks, add to carts, and purchases. Be sure to watch this video next because this is going to teach you how to increase your market share on Amazon.